to my youtube channel as you can see i've been tying if you notice in my recent videos i've been tying my hair i'm having a bad hair it's not just a bad hair day it's a bad hair week i think i'll cut off my hair but let's move away from all the ranting and all that hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so it's going to be about my registry marriage as you all know in nigeria like in movies where couples elope you actually can't elope in nigeria you have to get wedded and one of the ways to get married is the registry marriage popularly known as court marriage so with this vlog i'll be telling you some requirements and what's not what to expect when going for registry marriage first thing when you're ready to do your registry marriage you go to a court or a registry and you'll be given a yes you'll be given a form to fill but before that form they'll ask you they'll ask you some basic questions depend on your answer to those questions not depending shall you just be asked basic questions don't know the categories that you'll be put in so when after answering those questions you will be given a form to fill and the buying of the form is one thousand after um paying for those form you fill them and attach your two passport photograph each then you'll be told to go and come back after 21 days the essence of that 21 days is for them to put it on the public notice board to inform the public that you're getting married and if there's any issue that anybody have with the marriage they should say it or forever remain silent <laughs> After 21 days, the wedding can be done within 3 months but if it exceeds that 3 months, you have to go back, fill the form and start the process all again so whatever you're doing, just make sure it falls within that 3 months Number 2 Okay, the basic requirement is ID card and ID card, there are 4 that are valid National ID, International Passport, Voter's Card and Driver's License For international um, National ID is only the permanent, uh, permanent one that is accepted because the temporary doesn't show your date of birth, so you can't go with the um, the yeah temporary doesn't show your date of birth for national ID, so it has to be the permanent number three form buying as I mentioned before is one thousand. Then number four, get your outfit ready. Um, for outfits, I think that you should go with something that is very comfortable. For me, I wore um, a simple, beautiful white gown made by my younger sister. Then my husband wore an ash, yeah, ash trouser. And so just go for anything you want. Some couple, I saw some couples wearing Ankara, wearing it with some brides while wearing. Can anything that works for you that you want is your day. Anything you want to use, use. Then number I put her hand with my younger sister. She as in she made that clothes within because I was actually confused on what to wear. Was I actually confused? I was actually not confused, but I just did one last minute preparation. So she made it within a day or two. Then number I put her hand. Then number five go on time. <laughs> this point I can't overemphasize this point. Endeavor you go on time. Our wedding was slated by for 10 a.m. But this to some circumstances, I fell a bit and I came late and I was fined the sum of five thousand. Is it necessary to say it? But just go on time. Don't be a victim because we know how the country is now. This is not a period for you to be throwing money around when you can avoid it. So go on time. And number six, head covering. This is actually a point because before then. People were telling me that it's compulsory to cover your hair, but guys, it's actually not compulsory. You can do anything you want. You can tie your hair the way I'm tying it if you want to. You can leave it open. You can wear a fascinator. For me, I wore a beautiful fascinator also made by my elder sister. I'll put her hand to somewhere and I'll put the picture somewhere. So you can do whatever rocks your boots. There's no issue. Number seven, list of relationship prohibited in Nigeria. So for this one, after you've made a payment, okay, when you choose the dates you want to do the registry marriage, you'll be told to come two days before them to do some other things and the rest. So when you do that, you'll be given a form to be sure of the relationship. You'll be given this form, not even a form, this form to be sure that you don't fall, you and your spouse doesn't fall under this relationship. You read um, prohibited degrees of relation or relationship. A man must not marry his mother, daughter, father's father's mother son's daughter 
sister's daughter, a woman must not marry her father's son. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. It's just incestuous relationship that are not allowed in Nigeria. So you'll be giving the form and um you be they'll try to make you read it to understand so that tomorrow they'll not hear another thing and be sure that you know what you are doing. Then number eight, you have to come with witnesses. For me, I came with my dad, my husband came with his mom. The witnesses too can wear anything but they can wear a jean and polo. That's basically all. So for me, I actually enjoyed the experience because within five minutes he had done as in like it's the most simple and affordable wedding in Nigeria. You know how weddings can be in Nigeria, very busy and all that, but with this one within five minutes he had done and that's all. Then um I did my at the uh, OBF for registry at in Portal Court. So this is what I got after everything but I think this is just a covering for the main certificate inside there I'm not showing you guys so that's basically all so if you want to go for registry marriage I think it's important because there are some things that you want to do and it will be required especially this period that people are chapping very well so for me I think it's needed which is actually not needed it's based on what you want as a person so i hope this with this blog i will be able to inform educate and also entertain you guys so thanks for watching till next time Bye.